This important information is provided by Safe Sports Network, a nonprofit dedicated to youth sports safety. To ensure the best and proper care for an injured athlete, all personnel involved with football, including coaches, should review and practice their emergency action plans. Whether it be an emergency medical situation where airway and chest access is needed or to ensure the safest mode of transport to a hospital, sometimes equipment removal may be necessary. In a real life scenario, the response team would work to remove the helmet and shoulder pads at the same time, but for the purposes of this video, we're identifying each step. The next step will be to remove and cut the shoulder straps and also the laces that go up the front of the shoulder pads. The next step is going to be to remove the chin strap and face mask. Now it's vital to know your athlete's type of helmets because everyone's a little bit different, whether you're going to need a screwdriver or the quick release model. Um, so what you can see in the picture here, there's a quick, quick release model where they were flipping up the face mask and now we're beginning to cut the chin straps uh, off from the helmet. For practice purposes, we were just tilting the face mask out of the way. In real life, you should remove completely. So for this next part, it's the most vital as far as care for the athlete and probably takes the most practice for all personnel to get done right. As you can see now, the responder two has come over the top of the athlete to provide neck stabilization underneath the jaw. And the athletic trainer at the head is gonna be providing the helmet removal and the responders on each side are gonna be sliding out the shoulder pads. So what you'll see is that the athletic trainer begins to pull the cheek pads apart to remove the helmet and the responders on each side slide the shoulder pads off as well while the responder two provides inline neck stabilization. Once the shoulder pads are out of the way, the athletic trainer at the head res resumes the neck stabilization. Now you can begin to apply a collar or if not, you can provide some bolster of a towel or something underneath until EMS arrive. So like we mentioned at the beginning of the video, the vital thing here is just to keep practicing. Inform your coaches, school personnel, work with your EMTs, Get an understanding of how the emergency action plan will work so that way the care of the athlete is never in jeopardy.